morning everybody how are we all how are we all doing i hope you're all well today we're going shopping which is like my favorite thing to do obviously today i'm going to head to the trafford center it is opening day for the new H&M home, which is so exciting. I've been dying for H&M to open back up in there anyway. The fact that they're now opening up with the home section, amazing. However, I am a little bit skeptical or a little bit scared of what it's gonna be like today because day, today is day one of opening. So it's probably gonna be busy. I'm assuming it's gonna be busy. Um, either way, I've got a few other bits that I want to pick up whilst I'm at the Trafford Centre, so I'm gonna take you guys with me. I'm also gonna to head to Costco. So regular viewers or people who know what Costco is, I feel like you're gonna enjoy that. Other people that have never heard of it before are probably gonna be a bit like, what the hell's Costco? So Costco's like a wholesalers, but they sell now the Tom Ford 002 book, which is the white version of the 001 which I've already got, the black one. So I'm gonna see if I can find that in our Costco, which is right next to the Trafford Centre. So yeah, it's gonna be a fun-filled day. Anything I do pick up, I will share with you at the end of the video. I'm staying hydrated, got my air up a bottle, which is still one of my most favorite things that I've discovered recently. It's honestly just genius. If you've not heard me talk about this before, this is a water bottle with water. However, there's a little added twist with this one. It's got these little pods that come with it, which you can just pop on. This is what the bottle looks like without the pod. Um, you can get different colors. I've got the black one. Um, and you pop the pod onto the bottle, you lift it up to activate, and it feels like you're drinking flavored water, even though there's no additives, there's no sugar, there's no calories, it's all plain water. It creates a slipstream. So when you're drinking the water, the activated pod releases air as you're drinking it so when you're drinking it through the straw let me come in a bit closer this may be a bit tmi <laughs> there's like little air bubbles that create that slipstream and that flavor you can just pop it down and drink normal water this pod in particular is one of my favorites it's the basil and lemon one it's just nice and fresh perfect for this time of the year however i do have some new flavors this one of the latest the cassis which is like drinking black currant raspberry and lemon i need to sneeze I also picked up the mango passion fruit and then this is the elderflower which again I think will be really nice for the warmer months so I've gone for very spring summery flavors there I do have a discount code if you want to try air up yourself you can get 10% off with the code Freya10 I have also picked up two new bottles for my mum and dad they as soon as they saw me talk about it they were like um oh what is it like is it really good we might buy one so you know Mother's Day, Father's Day, I'll let them fight over the colour. I think my mum's going to fight for the blue and my dad will just have whatever my mum doesn't. So if you're someone who particularly struggles to drink water, I feel like this is invented especially for you. The pods are recyclable. You can um, use them up to about eight times. I personally keep them on for a bit longer than that. I'd say more like 10. So yeah, if you want to start your journey to drinking more water, having better skin, hair, nails, all the benefits that water brings to you, then definitely try Air Up. Thank you to Air Up for very kindly sponsoring today's video. Let's now head on the road. Let's get to the shops. Let's get to H&M. And fingers crossed, hopefully, it's not going to be too busy and I can still manage to get some vlogging clips in there for you. I'll show you what I'm wearing today, actually. It's a, um, I guess, a kind of sneak peek into... In fact, I'm not 100% decided if I'm wearing these or not. I think I will. Um, a sneak peek into... Well, I'm just going to say an upcoming video. It's actually my last video, so you've probably already seen them. My Zara Farfetch haul. Oh, I've got my hands on these. They are the new... Well, new for me. They're not new, but the new in my wardrobe. The Chloe Woody Sliders, which styled up with my Woody tote bag. I don't think I'm going to take this. It's a bit too big to take around the Trafford Centre. I'm just going to take a crossbody with me. This is also fairly new. I got this from Cheshire Oaks. All of these items you'll probably recognise if you watch my vlogs on a regular basis, this is from Reese. They've got some amazing discounts on at Cheshire Oaks at the minute. I love a good shop around there. So I've just teamed this blazer with basic white tee from weekday, this one is, and these jeans, which are from Primark. So yeah, 
all about balance, you know, we've got Primani, but we've also got Chloe. Anyway, I'm trying to be sneakily filming here because there's a mess behind me. I've actually just filmed the Zara video, which you'll have seen my last video, so I'm filming on the same day. So yeah, I'm trying to hide the mess. I hope you guys didn't see it. Let's go shopping. Okay, I've literally come in my bedroom to grab my bag and it's raining. So maybe my Chloe sliders are gonna just have to wait because I don't wanna ruin them the first time I wear them. Looks like it's a trainers or Uggs today. If you're from Manchester, we all know the weather. The weather doesn't, uh, it's not the most reliable in Manchester, let's just say that. Oh, iced brown sugar oat shaken espresso. Espresso, I mean espresso. There's no X in espresso. My tummy is rumbling. I've just come to Starbucks for a quick pit stop. Pit stop, I haven't even started shopping yet. I feel like I need some fuel. So I'm just gonna grab a bite to eat. Maybe just like a piece of banana loaf or something. And then I might just grab a coffee as well. Hi, do you have any banana bread? Yeah, we do, lovely. Can I have one slice of banana bread, please? And then also a decaf cortado. Uh, no, that's okay, thank you. No, that's everything, thank you. Thanks. Mm. He's cute. We've had ten at the window, honey, okay? Tip as well, always pay if you're a regular, I start doing this with Costa as well. Um get the app and pay for it on the app and then you get rewards and I think it's like roughly every sort of 15 drinks you get a free drink or 10 to 15 drinks something like that um although has mine got enough money on it yes I've got a tenner on there almost feels like you got free coffee as well because you're like yep I'll just pay with the app right we're back in the slide position because I don't like vlogging on my dashboard <laughs> when I'm in a drive through I'm too shy, I'm too shy. Been sent a video. Barney's at daycare, he's always at, he's always at daycare whenever I'm out and about shopping, because I don't like leaving him at home for too long. Um, and they've sent me a video of him playing. Oh, there he is. Oh, trying to make friends. Drive. There's actually two Starbucks drives, drive throughs. This one's by the Trafford Retail Park, just across from Trafford Centre. It's usually never really a queue in here compared to the other one, which is good. Thank, Thank you. you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you too. I always think when um, someone's working and they say have a nice day, I will say you too but they're at work. <laughs> H&M home but I'm slightly concerned that even the lady in the white company said oh are you going to the new H&M home oh is it gonna be busy probably I have arrived but look it's not open until 11 a.m. so we're about five minutes wait so I'm just gonna queue up and wait <laughs> we are well we've been kicked kicked down basically we've been told that it's a one-way system I've made friends <laughs> I've made friends <laughs> ready to go in but yeah we got told to come downstairs which is a bit of annoying because we were waiting but never mind we are about to head on in now and it is pretty busy I will say that but hopefully 
portfolio as the days go on it'll get a little bit quieter for those who have asked in previous vlogs this is the linen H&M home dressing gown that I've got it's 34.99 and they have loads of them in stock It's bright blue skies out there, so I could have worn my sandals after all. It's actually quite hot as well, to be completely honest with you. It's turned out to be a lovely day. In fact, I might even leave my blazer in the car. So I'm going to go to Costco now. I am hungry, I'm going to say that. And they do do good pizzas there. But it's not like a full pizza, you just get a slice of a massive pizza. Um, so I might even have that. I feel like I've done my steps and I've got my weight, my weights in with the uh, kitchen bag. I had to buy a um, bag in John Lewis, a plastic one, because that felt like it was going to break. And I've got glass in there, which you'll see later. So I didn't want to smash it and have to go back into the stores. But overall, I'm not going to say I regret going today because I don't. But it, it, it was busy. It was hectic everywhere. Zara... I went in, I was fully gonna do like a, you know, try on and no. Firstly, I had my hands full of heavy bags and secondly, it was, um, I'm hot. <laughs> it was just too busy. Um, I suppose it is, I think it's the holidays still for a lot of people. So anyway, anyway, I don't regret going today, but I do think I might go back and have a better shopping experience next time however i did meet some lovely subscribers whilst we were queuing anyway i'm gonna head over to costco now grab myself a slice of pizza see if we can spot that uh tom ford book did you see i got a clip of it in selfridges the new white one so how much is it actually let's see oh and another thing we got 20 percent off in store at h&m for today only for if you remember which was good so prices online you can get it at 95 pounds from tom ford that's it's like rrp you can get it on amazon for a bit cheaper at 65 but yeah so fingers crossed let's see if we can find it in costco oops just broken out <laughs> Just a quick side note to make. This cushion, it's like a huge bolster cushion, is, oh, that's gonna fall, is the one that's on our bed. Can you see on that image? So it pretty much takes up the size of our bed and ours is a super king. So I'd say king maximum, super king, no smaller, because it is quite big. It's 22.99 plus fat and I've got the white version. Still haven't been for my pizza yet, so I think I'm gonna um, have another quick look around, got a couple of bits, and then head back, well, buy a pizza, obviously. Oh look, there's a whole Ferrari, Lam nope, wrong car. Lamborghini I meant to say, and Mercedes, oh no, it is Ferrari. 
I guess with the Formula One being on right now, it's kind of relevant. And they have Bentley. They also have over here, this is new. I've never seen Yankee Candle, I don't think, in um, Costco before. The only thing is, I wouldn't be interested in that one. Maybe only these two, especially the warm cashmere. But it's $29.99 for the set of three, which isn't too bad at all. £10 each. something special I ended up getting chatting because it was that busy chatting with some people I sat with and um, we have a load of mutual friends from back towards uh, Tom where Tom's from which is quite funny anyway delicious pizza consumed seven up free on the go Free refills for 95p. I should have filled up actually because I've only got about that much left. And um, I should have filled up on route out. Never mind. I am going to head back now. I, what time is it? It's two o'clock. So I feel like we can get back, share with you everything that I did pick up today. Um, I have a couple of bits that need to go in the freezer actually from that shop that I've just done there. So let's get back. I'll chat to you guys when I get home. Ooh, went in for one thing, came out with a bag full. So, <laughs> ooh, this book is so heavy. Let's get into it, shall we? I feel like if you've got the first one, this one is a completely different material. I feel like the first one is like a fabric almost it needs a limp roll every once in a while I'm not gonna like gathers dust quite easily whereas this is yeah it's so nice it's like a um I don't know how to describe it it's not the same material as the other one let's just say that it's harder anyway Tom Ford 002 so yeah, 40, oh, it retails for 135 US dollars, 180 Canadian dollars. And this was 47.99, <clears throat> no VAT on the books there. The reason why it's like all VAT and everything is because Costco is typically a membership place that you go if you own a business. I mean, we grew up going there because we were military. You can get individual memberships now. Um, <clears throat> so not 100% sure how it works. I think it's quite easy to just get a membership now at Costco. So anyway, um, a lot of the items, they're priced up and then plus VAT, because obviously a lot of businesses who will be VAT registered will be able to claim that VAT back. So this is the book. It's very loud downstairs, if you can hear the builders. Sorry about that. Ooh. Ooh, colourful. A colourful book, who knew? A bit more colourful than the other one. Oh, <laughs> you're welcome, ladies. So, yeah, lots of imagery in this one. Oh, that one's a bit risky. I can't show you that page. This is exactly how you would describe a coffee table book. You know, there's a good chance in the middle of this book you can have it open, out on display, and it actually be almost like a piece of art. Anyway, that was the first thing that I got. A couple of bits now that... Oh, I got, I need to pop in the freezer, these cauliflower hash browns. They are usually, I mean, this was 4 99 but I think they're usually about that for a small bag. But that's quite a big bag. Got some manchego cheese. Got some ginger apple shots, pack of 10. Now this is meant to be good, loads of health benefits. And it's called kefir. Now I actually bought this mostly for Barney more than myself. It's meant to be really good for dogs. So 
I'm gonna read up a little bit on how we can best feed him this because it's I thought it was gonna be like a yogurt, but I think it's like a mi like milk consistency. So and just put it in a bowl for him. Will he eat that? I don't know. Speaking of Barney, I've also got this for him. This is a two pack of salmon oil, fresh from Norway, unrefined, fresh, 100% salmon oil that again, you can just pop on their food, it, especially if they're fussy eaters, makes them eat it more because obviously it's like, whoa, that smells of salmon, I'm having that. And also, um, it's really good for their coat. Shiny coat, enhanced appetite, soft pores, strong heart, increased energy. <laughs> I don't know if I want that last one, but anyway. Right, we've got some alcohol i always see this bottle and think it looks lovely it's just some japanese gin so i bought that but i also bought this tequila patron this is just the silver one but i quite like the idea of when i do drink which is on the very rare occasion rather and rather than a gin and tonic or like tom quite likes a vodka lime soda but i think i prefer tequila lime soda so i'm going to try that and then um with summer coming up some sunny cocktails in the garden you know i also got this because we ran out the other day and this is our absolute trusty fave that we used pretty much every time we cook and then just some bread i think this in costco is literally about 80p so that is everything that i picked up from costco i'm going to pop these food bits away and then take you upstairs i think to share with you all of the other items that i got at the trafford center which honestly now that we have a h&m home Best thing ever. You always said we were the good ones. Mm -hmm. Like an 18 minute thriller movie. Okay, I think I'm gonna have a bit of a switch up, you know, on books in this section here i'm going to remove this white company um i might regret doing this because this case is quite dirty so i might regret doing that but i prefer the aesthetic of it just like so so i think that sat on top of the tom ford one looks quite nice does it you know what actually maybe it doesn't because that is a true stark clean white whereas the tom ford is actually a little tiny bit warmer almost like a bit creamier let me see what it does look like with the case on i mean it looks better like that but maybe we'll take that as a sign i also have my growing stack of white company and neptune brochures you know i always tell you to like uh sign up to the brochures it's free and then you get that kind of like aesthetic so i've just kind of piled them all up on top of each other back from when is this dated from? A little bit dusty on that one. What's the earliest one I've got here? Christmas 2020. And then the stories ones that you get from Neptune. I did apply for the latest one and this is what it looks like. I think it honestly looks beautiful. So it's got this obviously very floral preserved um, flowers display on the front. It's called the preservation edit got some recipes like fig and frangipani tart sounds delicious and then just some inspo images i always just like to flick through and have a look more so at the imagery than anything else in these um but yeah i am um, i'm gonna add this to my stack <laughs> of brochures and pop all of these on this top shelf this unit by the way is from done now and we bought it when we moved in here just as a kind of temporary solution it's been very practical for us this isn't ideal we don't have a signal we don't have a an aerial so we're just using the now tv which you have to plug in which is a bit annoying um so that gets in the way a little bit but oh well right so stack these up the neptune ones are just slightly smaller and they're also more of that true white whereas the white company ones are more of a creamier creamier color i do love this book as well the this is home natalie walton one um i think i'm gonna pop this in another another room and then i've got this one again which i'm gonna have to put somewhere else but it's gorgeous 
if you like wildlife and animals this is the family album of wild africa i always knew you always meant it but now we're standing on the best side too lovely afternoon just decided to sit in this room however I think it's gonna be a bit too bright like as in direct sunlight we'll see how we go it's been a while guys I have just got back to basically a full inbox that needed sorting out so I decided to get into my comfies get some emails done I've now just made myself a coffee and I'm gonna finally sit down and share with you all the bits that I picked up today can you hear the builders? Honestly, I want their energy. I really do. Hopefully this is gonna help. It sounds like they're having the time of their lives down there. Anyway, right, where should we begin? Let's start with Selfridges. Popped into the makeup section to grab myself one of these. Now I've been after some kind of setting mist. My NYX Dewy Finish one that I've been using has run out. So I'm probably on like one or two more uses left and then it's done. So I've seen this, I mean, it's not new to the market, it's just, I've never tried it before. I um, was intrigued. It's like a continual mist. So if I can get the lid off, um, well, I don't wanna like just show you because then it'll waste product. Let me just pop a bit on my face. So, woo, so it's like a really fine mist. Oh my God, it smells nice too. That feels lovely. I'm gonna get through these far too quickly, I feel, because it was, how much was that? About 11 pounds, 16 pounds. <laughs> okay, a little bit more than I thought it was. I did also come home to a package from Iconic London. Didn't know this was coming, so let's see what's a new release or what they've sent me, because that's quite often when they send me products, it's because they've got a new release item. So, this is introducing our newest brow products. Okay, so they've got a brow hold, which is 18 pounds, and a triple precision brow definer for 22. I feel like I'm gonna really enjoy that. I hope they've sent colors that work for me. That's the only thing with products like this sent in PR, you just never know. Oh, it's like packaging the package, that like parcel. You just never know what shades are gonna suit you really. They've sent three of those. So we've got the Liquid Brow Silk. Look, I feel like I'm gonna rush myself because my battery keeps flashing at me. I'm even trying to avoid looking at it. Let me go switch out my battery and I'll be right back. We're back on, honestly, it's a never ending battle between whether or not your uh, battery's gonna go, whether or not your memory card's gonna fill up. But anyway, we're back, we're back. So the um, Brow Silk, Liquid Brow Silk, comes in clear, so universal. I don't know if they do any other colors, but it's quite small, very petite. I suppose it doesn't take up much space in a, in a makeup bag. Oh, and the brush is tiny as well, can you see? I mean, I can't really tell if this is any good. I need to give it a good test out. But I've been loving the Refi brow, brow, whatever it's called. So um, I'll try that and compare that to that one because that has been a game changer for me. Then the Triple Precision Brow Definer, they've sent me in Blonde, Cool Brown, I feel like that's gonna be my shade, and Ash Blonde. Okay, so they've, I suppose, sent three colors that sound fitting. Anyway, they're the sort of colors that I would have opted for. I find Blonde can be quite warm, 
So let's try, oh, ash blonde though will probably work as well. Let's try cool brown. I just wanna swatch it so you can see what the actual product looks like. So this is much, much bigger. And then you've got, okay, let's see here. A pen, that's like a liquid eyeliner pen. Oh, I wasn't expecting that. Oh yeah, I feel like you can really like draw on the actual brow strokes there with that. It's like a liquid eyeliner though. Oh, I might put that on the wrong. Yes. Gosh. Okay, brush. Okay, so you twist it for the brush. Oh, it's like a science experiment. And then this end is the pencil. There we go. Mm, it doesn't feel as creamy as my hourglass one. However, the colour I do think might be quite a good match for me. So, and that'll probably be the darkest one. So, that and the ash blonde I'm thinking will probably work quite well for me. Anyway, thanks Iconic London. I'll give them a good test out. And if you guys want to see more about what I think about them, I tend to talk about products if I've particularly been loving them in my monthly vlogs that I do at the start of every month, like a hello introduction type of video to the month. Anyway, coffee, Nespresso. I popped into Nespresso and picked up some decaf pods. I, I think they only do three. I wish they did some more decaf. They only do three and I picked up just two of the three. This one's um, weak, I think it's like strength four and then the opposite one, the black one, 10. So if I'm feeling like a strong coffee, but as in, decaf uh, I don't know well I kind of do know why I, I'm opting for decaf a bit more now mostly because I don't know it's hard to explain but it might just be in my head I'm not gonna lie but sometimes if I have caffeinated coffee absolutely fine other times I can get quite anxious and quite shaky and I thought I'd just be I was gonna get anxious anyway however I do feel like caffeine is a contributor to the shakes which is what then freaks me out sometimes if I get a bit shaky uh, so it's kind of like a vicious cycle then like I said probably in my head more than anything so if I know I've had decaf I kind of don't have to worry am I gonna get the shakes am I gonna get a bit like oh don't get me wrong sometimes I love a good coffee and I will still continue to have just a caffeinated coffee but other times if I don't need it or like now if it's afternoon I think I'll just have a decaf anyway light company popped in to the one in Selfridges and they had ah, last time I went in they didn't have it they still don't have the summer oil but they do have the sea salt oil which is one of their newer scents, these oils are 10 pounds. I've got an oil, oh my God, that is so good. Obviously all the autumn and winter scents I love, but as a summery kind of scent, the summer and this sea salt, I do really like. Spring, hmm, not so much, give or take. Same with autumn, but the winter, the fireside, that kind of time of the year, love. And then in summer, I don't really have one that I love until now the sea salt is lovely and like i said summer as well so i need to get my hands on the summer oil i think in the kitchen i've got mint burning at the minute well not burning because it's not a candle but diffusing let's say okay so that was what i picked up from um the white company everything else it's, oh no, one other thing before H&M Home. Popped into Lakeland and picked myself up another of these deluxe moisturizing gloves. They are the best washing up gloves ever. Regardless of the fact that they're white and they look nice out, it's just, they just feel nice. They, you, you don't get clammy. I talked about it before in another video, but my other ones I'm out currently using. So I always like to have a spare pair just in the cupboard uh, for convenience. Okay, let's talk H&M Home. I feel like my friend Lydia uh, was the one that encouraged me to get this vase. I think it's sort of one of those items with H&M Home that's very much in and out of stock. So I'll try and leave all of these items that I do show you linked in the description box. But if anything is out of stock, keep your eyes peeled or head into the traffic center one. So they had this vase. There's two different shapes of this style. There's a taller one and then there's this one. 
I thought this would look lovely with some tulips in, some gypsophilia, just very light, airy. The vase does all the talking. So it is $17.99 and it's quite weighty. Good size. And it's definitely one that you're gonna need a thick bunch of flowers off. That's why I'm thinking either gypsophilia because that's quite light or um, tulips because you can get like a big bunch of them. I did get quite a few home fragrance bits from H&M Home. And this candle. Oh, it smells so good. It's in the scent olive and sage. Very herby. Good for this time of the year. This is far more me. I, I will always choose anything like this over floral. Oh, it smells so good. So yeah, this candle was a 12 99 It's a pretty big size and it's a gorgeous kind of deep forest olivey green color. I also got this, which I don't know what the candle's gonna look like actually. I think they had one on display, I can't remember. But it's in the scent Coriander Lime. Again, another kind of kitchen downstairs scent, that herby scent I love. And to be fair, the, the place I burn candles most is just in the kitchen. As and when I kind of think, right, I've done all my filming, I've done everything that I need to do, now I can just sit back and edit and put my feet up, that's when I usually light a candle. A bit like now, I suppose. I've got into my comfies, I've been filming all morning, out, out and about shopping, and I've got home, got into my comfies, made myself coffee and lit the candles. That's when I would light a candle. So anyway, coriander and lime. This, I can barely smell. Hopefully I'm going to smell that more when I burn it because, honestly, that's so weird. This one, strong. This one, not much. Not really getting much of a scent from that, which is a little bit disappointing. It was eight ninety nine though. I'm sure when it burns, this is what I'm telling myself, I'm sure when it burns I'll be able to uh, smell it a bit more. I need to get rid of this. So I mentioned this in my White Company dupes video that I did recently about a dupe for the scent Sea Salt. So H&M Home have a range called Salted Sea. I thought I would pick up the diffuser to test it out and see how similar it actually is to the White Company scent. Had they have got candle, I probably would have got that. However, I did see the diffuser, like a display version, out on display and I really do quite like the look of it. Oh no. I don't know why this bugs me, but when you rip the lid, when you're opening it, it just, it just annoys me. So this is the actual, uh, hang on, that's not it. <laughs> this is the actual bottle that it comes in, or that you get, the glass. So to say, I love that font. Just one thick reed, like so, and then the actual product is here. So um, I quite liked the look of that, the fact that it was just one thick reed. I don't think I've ever seen that before. Let's give this a smell. Oh, it's closed. Oh, here we go. Okay. Is, I, is it similar? Mm. Sea salt from the White Company is way better. This doesn't hit me with that. Oh my God, that smells amazing. This is just, it's okay. I wouldn't say it's, it, it's the same sort of, mm, I'm, I'm, no. The bottle's lovely. The white company scent is the one for me. It's not bad, it's just um as a comparison, I wouldn't I wouldn't say it's a similar scent to the white company one. I tell you who's good for reed diffusers, I think, or I found in the past. Zara Home. I feel like the fragrance actually lasts. Um, and it's quite strong. So Zara Home is a good affordable price. Well, I say affordable. Even Zara Home can be quite pricey nowadays. But anyway, how nice is the bag? I must have had about five people talk about this bag, say that they were going there. And someone stopped me in Selfridges saying, oh my God, I'm going to go there next. Like a girl on one of the counters. She's like, what's it like? At the white company, the lady was like, I'm going there later. What's it like? Um, everyone's keen. Everyone is eager for the new H&M to be open. Anyway, so some more bits that I got from H&M. Oh, these are so cute. I got these um, little Easter decorations. I did think, well, it's kind of late now and I'm not gonna put these out this year. But then I did also think I'm gonna have to get these regardless because they might not be here next year. And how can I find something 
this affordable and this simple. Um, it's only $3.99 for the set of two little glass Easter eggs. They come on this white organza ribbon. I might even switch that out for jute. Maybe I feel like that would be quite nice. Um, I was just going to get three. And then I realised because they were in a set of two, um, then I decided to go for six. <laughs> so I got three sets of two at $3.99 each. I really think that is a good price point for them. So yeah, happy with them, even if they're not gonna be out this year. And then I got a two, um, two packs of napkins, quite like the designs on them. So this one just says food, friends, good times. And then this one says love at first bite. They had a chicken one with like your excellent, excellent or something like that as well. These paper napkins are $1.99. I've got these, which I thought looked so lovely cheese markers so uh, i mean there's not much else explaining to do other than they mark your cheese so if you've got a cheese board out you can pop a little cheese mark next to the cheese and i don't know i just i like the font of them i think they look cute so this is the little one for brie and they're all the same just obviously with different names i'll be honest i think it was this that must have subconsciously encouraged me to get that manchego at costco because <laughs> When would I ever, ever bought Manchego before? I mean, we do love Manchego, to be fair, but to um, purchase it randomly like that, I think it was my cheese markers that made me do that. So we've got Gruyere, Blue. Oh, they've come out of the packet. Hold on. Goat's cheese, Manchego cheese, Blue cheese, Gruyere cheese, and then the Brie as well. $8.99. And then the last thing from the H&M Home. I did get one dress, but... H&M Home Sun Dried Linen Room Spray. Again, I'm such a sucker for home fragrance products, but let's see what this smells like. Do you know what? I would have gone for the Enchanted Forest one or whatever it was called that was next to it, but I smelt that one. They had testers in stores and I prefer this one. Last but not least, I feel like we might as well try this dress on, shall we? I'll try it on. So it's from h&m obviously it was 34.99 i got it in a medium it's a sales assistant that sold me this because she was one of them was wearing it so it's just one of those pretty dresses that was right at the front of the store that as soon as the doors opened everyone was flocking into the store a lot of people were lingering around this section where there was these dresses they had a skirt in this fabric as well maybe something else i'm gonna try it on guys i love it it's so pretty I'm just staring at the neighbors outside hoping they can't see in um i honestly love it i feel like this is 100 percent coming with me to milan it's actually far more kind of low cut there's quite a lot on show than i thought so i definitely think it might be quite um occasion appropriate maybe if you've got like a a um like a summer's party to go to i was gonna uh, i don't know if i'd do wedding because it's obviously quite light but then again, it's a very patterned, so I don't know. But um, more so, I think, as I'm going to wear it just on a, an Italian holiday in May. I can just see myself now sitting in this dress, sipping on Aperol with a big bowl of pasta on order, ready to be delivered to my table. That is my vision with this dress. I think we might even take a little trip to Lake Como what's for there. So I feel like this is the dress maybe for that day. I feel like I could have gone for a small, you know. If I tighten the bow at the back, it fits a bit better. Anyway, that is gonna go ahead and conclude today's video. I hope you guys have enjoyed it. I hope you guys have enjoyed coming with me to the Trafford Centre and having a little look around the new H&M home. Don't forget, if you want to check out Air Up, you can do so and take advantage of a discount code that I have for you guys to save 10% off on your order. Honestly, recommended. Couldn't recommend it enough. I'm drinking so much more water with it and I have noticed a difference with my skin. Above anything, I do feel like my skin was playing up for a bit and then now that I've been drinking more water, I feel like that's the key to a good skin, a good base, is just drink more water. That's the first step. Drink, drink, drink. Anyway, Thank you to Era for kindly sponsoring today's video and I hope to see you all very, very soon in my next one. Bye guys.